हे व्हाट्सअप गाइस दिस इज उज्ज्वल कुमार सैन एंड यू आर वाचिंग उज्ज्वल कुमार सैन यूट्यूब चैनल तो गाइस दिस इज द चैनल सीरीज फॉर यू गाइस राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट चैलेंज सीरीज कपल ऑफ लॉट्स ऑफ चैलेंज सीरीज इज फॉर यू एंड द लैंग्वेज आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इन दिस चैलेंज सीरीज इज इंग्लिश ओनली दैट्स व्हाई एवरीबॉडी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज़ दिस मच इंग्लिश पीपल अंडरस्टैंड आई थिंक सो एवरीबॉडी राइट so these challenge series are for gate and esc only so today we are going to cover properties of fluid from fluid mechanics so i hope you are excited right so let's get started first question here you go okay yeah what is the dimension what is the dimension of surface tension you have to tell me the answer just uh, take a notebook and uh, pen and start writing answer according to you right whenever you are getting numerical problem pause the video and solve the question and write down the answer on that sheet and at the end of the video of this video i am going to share with you keys of all the questions if you will face any problem with any question then you can ask me below in the comment then i am going to create a solution tutorial in the very next video that's why you will understand where you are making mistake right so this is the first question what is the dimension of surface tension this is the second question capillary rise at 20 degree centigrade in clean glass tube of 1 mm dia containing water is approximately if angle of contact of a drop of liquid is acute then what will happen next Pressure inside a soap bubble of 50 mm diameter is 25 newton per meter square. Above the ATM pressure, मतलब means atmospheric pressure. Surface tension in soap film would be. We have to find out that when pressure on a given mass fluid is increased from 3 megapascal to 3.5 megapascal, density of the liquid increases from 500 kg per meter cube to 501 kg per meter cube what is the average value of bulk modulus of liquid over given pressure range we have to find out right it's a numerical problem so uh, i know as i am talking you cannot write you can mark the right answer right so you have to give time you have to pause the video solve the uh, solve the question then move on right okay shear stress developed in a lubricating oil of viscosity 9.81 poise filled uh, between two parallel plates 1 cm apart and moving with relative velocity of 2 m per second is next which of the following forces act on a fluid at rest when fluid at rest right gravity force hydrostatic force surface tension and viscous force select the correct option given below assuming constant temperature condition air to be an ideal gas variation in atmospheric pressure with height calculated from fluid statics is and this is the ninth number question if p is the gauge pressure within a spherical droplet then gauge pressure within a bubble of the same fluid and the same size will be next with increase in pressure bulk modulus of elasticity what will happen i hope you can uh, answer this question right consider the flowing statements uh viscosity surface tension capillarity and with uh, vapor pressure which of the uh, above properties have can be attributed to the flow of jet of oil in an unbroken stream 12th number question the phenomenon of cavitation characteristics fluid property involved is vapor pressure viscosity surface tension last option bulk modulus of elasticity the oil of the oil of specific gravity is 0.9 has viscosity of 0.28 stokes at 38 degree uh, centigrade must be there what will be its viscosity in newton second newton second per meter square next unit of the unit of the flowing uh, property is not meter square per second just read there is not right mass diffusivity first option dynamic viscosity second option kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity third option thermal diffusivity last option vapor pressure is the characteristic fluid property involved in the uh, phenomenon of rise of sap in a tree spherical shape of rain water drop cavitation water hammer in a pipe flow guys i hope 
you have tried to solve these questions i don't know how many question you have solved right so you have to calculate yourself how many question you have solved you have to see yourself right and here you go all the keys of all the questions right so these are the keys of all the questions i hope you can see it right now right okay so now you have to match take one third as negative marking as we have in gate right first and second what you have to do you have to tell me in uh, below what do you think level of the question because all the questions are taken from esc and gate previous year that's why it is written there this test series i mean this talent series is only for gate and esc uh, students those are preparing for this examination for sscj we'll do something else let's see what we can do for you right now guys you have to share with your friends more share more like i am going to get a more encouragement i will get and i will create more challenge series for you guys right so i hope this much you can do share with your friends on whatsapp and uh, take this challenge series and uh, see yourself where you stand right so guys thanks for watching thank you very much see you soon in my next talent series and uh, if you are facing any problem with any question numerical most probably then let me know in the comment i will create a video of uh, after mixing all the questions i mean if you are facing problem in few questions i will mix those questions and create a solution tutorial for this talent series i hope you got it right so guys thanks for watching thank you very much and see you soon in my next tutorial till then bye bye stay happy and keep preparing or if you're facing any problem for git examination you can comment below bye bye